All right, folks, we're at Queens Park. It's May 23rd. There's a, a protest going on here, or a demonstration against the lockdown and all the sanctions that the government has imposed on our people. We've got some music going over there. And the march is coming towards us now. It's coming up University Avenue. Here they come. I'm walking towards them. Here's the front of the march, just reaching the Queen's Park green area. people participating in this march. Trying to kill us. Thank you very much, sir. It's nice to see you. No ball. No ball. <laughs> I'm live. No spinning ball. Flooded rocks. <laughs> Flat Earth. There we go. <laughs> Funny stuff. All right. <laughs> People have attended this, everybody's really friendly. There have been no problems. Oh. We know what this is! Open up our churches! We want Jesus! We need it! A little free die signs up there. We need Jesus! Well, open up our churches! I think that much side might have some uh, real significance these days. We thank you! We're here to protect you. Yeah. So that was great. Open up our churches! We have religious rights! Open up our churches! We need Jesus! How's it going? Hey, good. Good. How are you? good. I'm glad you're here today. I like your, your sign. Yeah. I like your message. It's good. 
So what do you think? They're trying to take uh, guns away from 2 million Canadians. It's not going to end well for those trying to take them, let me tell you that. Maybe we should take their guns away. Uh, I'm not opposed to the idea. I mean, <laughs> at least they shouldn't have a monopoly on force. Tell them we yeah. have our guns, we didn't. But I, yeah. All well, my eggs are not in one basket, well, that's for sure. A, there's a saying, that a, a saying says that when it's time to bury your guns, it's, it's time, time to, use to dig them, them up. Them. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, come and take. That's right. My ex-husband has 15, maybe he'll sell me one for a thousand dollars. Well, I hope if something happens that people hand theirs out to responsible people. I think that'll happen. I think our greatest, our greatest weapon is Jesus. Amen. It's the Holy Rosary. Praying to Jesus and Mother Mary is our greatest weapon. We're going to survive this. Open up our churches. We need the body and blood of Christ. Open up our churches. Well, if we, we have religious rights. We have right of movement. We have all these rights, even God gave us the power to, to decide. He loved us so much. You make hey, I'm a Christian. I, I want my church to open up too, but we've been meeting. I think Christians should focus more on Jesus in the temple and beat usury. That would do the world a big favor. I agree. Yeah. Who's behind usury? That's a whole exactly. other question. Uh -huh. Yeah. I read, I read the Bible. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, it didn't like. I didn't convince me. But I tell you what, it did convince me of is that Jesus was a hero for going to the temple that day and taking on the bankers. Overturned the tables. Right? He made a whip. He oh. didn't just get one. He took the time he, to make he a made whip. It. This and then he chased him out. He exactly. Ass. You see, that's what I mean. Uh, if he does come back, if there's such a thing, right? I want him to kick some ass. Hey, I'm serious. When he does come back, and he will, trust me, brother. Well, let's hope something happens. You better be on it. his side when that happens. Well, we be <laughs> well I'm, oh. I'm, I'm, I'm against usury. I've run a lot of elections against usury, so I ran on Jesus' platform. Now, as far as him being the Son of God, I'm not sure about that, but I tell you what, he was a hero for taking on those bankers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, We'll have to be our own savior, I think, in this one, my friend. Hey, Jesus is my savior. That's what inspires me to come out here. I'll say that much. Well, that's good. If it drives you to do some good, then that's a good Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. That's right. why I have the confidence that I'm doing the right thing because it's rooted in him. And, you know, and I would offer the same to you, you know, just maybe pontificate. What if he was the son of God? Then what? Then where do you stand? Well, then we're going to win for sure because he's got all the guns. <laughs> yeah, but but you're not on his team right now, so you're not. You're going to be on the losing side. Well, I don't know about that, but we'll see. I think we're all on the losing side right now. Well, well I'm on the not. winning side. Okay? Actually, you know what? I'm wrong about that. There was a, a poll released. It said that 50% of Canadians don't believe the government. That's what it amounted to. So that's a huge number. That's a good number. And that's number. really encouraging, eh? So I'm glad you're out here today. Yeah. And see, the country, well, that's a, a good country. You guys like you and me can have our little differences and talk exactly. about it. Exactly. I don't care if you're yeah. not a Christian. No one's going to throw me in jail because I don't believe a World War II story because some scumbags want to throw me in jail, right? Yeah. So I don't like that kind of crap. No, so, I don't like it either. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm oppo opposed to that. Uh, we've got, we've, well, we could have a really good country if we uh, stop usury, number yeah. one, right? And back our currency with labor. We can employ everybody when they do some work because their work is worth something. Right, and those guys that want the gold standard. The last word on that is how did the gold get here? It was labor, right? Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for your no time, problem. sir. Thanks nice sign. Let's you. take another look at that one. Come and get it. Yeah, it's the one. Thank you. Good day. Me too. We made it to the back of the pack. Yeah. Right at the end, we had 10 cops behind us. Look how protected you are. We did it. Well, the park filled up again when the marchers came back. I spent my time talking to a gentleman. About maritime law. That's it. Good sign. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, just put it. Very nice. I got that one. I got that one again. Well done. Good sign. You're so right. I believe you're right. This is 100% true what they're doing.
Bill Gates said that if you do nutrition right, you do medicine right. Who is right. he? He's not he, even there. No, he says uh, you can reduce the world's population by doing nutrition and, uh, and medicine right. Doesn't seem right to me. Someone's a psycho. Yeah, they, the, the industry, they, they, they make the uh, vaccine or all of the um, stuff. So it belongs everything to Jews. So they do whatever they want to do, right? Yeah, I, 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 okay. I picked up on that myself. I mean, there's a few guys like that. from percent people in Canada, they over medicated. They taking, they don't eat, but they taking medication, of course, because they believe it. They yes. don't use a brain. No, the TV makes them soft, but there was some encouraging news. A poll came out, and if the poll can be trusted, it said that 50% of Canadians believe in conspiracy theories. So that's a good sign, because throw that means a, we don't believe the government. Throw your TV out of the window. Oh, that would yeah. be best idea. That's true. I used to use it to watch movies. Basically, yeah. I got that off the internet. The mainstream yeah, media I just still. use the internet because You're there right, is though. 100% lies, and you pay for the lies. That must be stupid over here. Oh, right? we're getting to the point where the word freedom isn't as much as public. Doesn't matter as much as public safety because this is where our loss of freedom can affect our lives that's why they want to make us like a cattle with cheap right that's correct and you just you will do whatever they want to do that's why i was so encouraged when i saw that poll i hope it was true and I, and I think that number will grow and i don't think people that stop believing uh, the government will start again i think they know better to what? people have lost their faith in the government i believe over half of us now so that why, means they're hundred of where? Which what? country? Why you didn't bring something like this? A sign? Yeah. Well, because what I do is I take your sign and I put it on YouTube. People have to see. And then okay. dozens of people can see your sign. Yeah. It's too hard with one hand. I can't really, you know, photograph the sign like that one. This one is, uh, you know, this is a lot. War not welfare. Everybody should go to war. Sorry? Everybody should go to work. And uh, how come schools close? First they saying strike hurt children and then the, the government is coming with idea. I don't know to, who told them, I guess the deep state, right? Yeah, they are. They are controlling everything. So they told them and Trudeau quickly, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's just, just a puppet. Yeah, they're all puppets. Doug Ford, yeah, yeah, Trudeau, yeah. they're all the same for money, team. For money, they sold everything. They will sell even, you know, wife. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Conservative, so liberal, it's all the same Do thing. they deserve to be, the, you know, our politician? Are they supposed to serve us or we serve them? How that works? I hope they get what they deserve. How's that sound? So okay? what they deserve? Well, they don't deserve to be our leaders, that's for sure. They deserve execution because they cost a lot. There you life. go. I didn't have to say it yeah, this time. Life right problems. on. Good and they for came, you. They came with the idea closed store, uh, closed schools, no university, no uh, elementary schools, right? No colleges, funerals. They had the limitation. People couldn't bring any friends, even family. Family was 20 people. Even family couldn't pay last respect on the, you know, on the funeral day. Me, even by myself, I had this experience. So only, you know, a few people could come. Worse, even the best friends, what supposed to be friends, they said they cannot come because they're afraid of the violence. Lack of education and, you know, School doesn't give you, uh, people intelligent. You born intelligent or you not? Or because life experience you, can yeah, start people because you can be educated asshole. Does mean you are intelligent? No, you asshole. Well, our, our so-called so -called elected leaders. And that's what we have in government. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your comment. You if everybody was like you, this shit would be over. Oh, the, and they wouldn't be around the shit to do never will start. Yeah, how you can? I talk to the people that are wearing masks in a, such a heat. They, they just suffocate. They're killing themselves. They're getting sick because of the mask. And they still believe it's going to protect them. It's a sign of submission, the mask, not the protection. Yeah, I don't look at it like it's a sign of intelligence, that's for sure. No. Okay, we got a noisy guy over there. Thank you very much for your time, ladies. That was really good. Thank you. Thank you for coming. You can't walk by a giant banana without video taping the gentleman. Good day, sir. <laughs> All right, how are you? <laughs> Do you guys have to be coming to this for a while? Yeah. Oh, because they missed the first one. Uh, I didn't know what was happening. So I just saw it. Wow, look at that. Why are you going there? Oh, yes.
and then well put sir thank you what's with the banana outfit is that what that is banana republic oh good call it's very appropriate are you going for president of a republic you'd be the most sensible guy there is oh yeah <laughs> if, if people will vote for me i will put weed legal you don't have to pay any taxes on it you will have all freedom we normally have in canada that was taken away from us ladies and gentlemen the day has come where a gentleman in a banana suit is far more respectable and intelligent than our elected representatives the day is here thank you for coming out today yeah. sir for smartening us up a bit thank you for sharing your wisdom thanks sir yeah. and your signs are excellent i agree with you say <laughs> would you guys like to be on video too no, no, it's oh, okay, okay. It's okay. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome i've got a channel it's i got two a couple channels prayer for news and rebellion party if you guys want to check them out no, definitely. i'll probably upload these in a couple well, days because doug ford said yesterday he was a big ape he was an ape so that's why i came as a banana he can eat me if he wants to <laughs> Yes, yes. Oh, he's home making cake anyway. What's that? Doug home making cake. Yeah, yeah. Who was the last person that said, let them eat cake? Yeah, what happened to her? What happened to well, Joan? Maybe history will repeat itself. That's a great point. Yeah. Good one. That's, see, it's, yeah. it's good to have other people's thoughts. I can't think of everything. So it's good. <laughs> well said. Yeah, thank awesome. You. Good one. That might be the comment of the day. Thank you very much. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Good to see you. A lot of nice people out here. A lot of intelligence. Hey, there's Paul. There you go. Oh, that's good. That's it. Right on. Feminism doesn't live here. That's good to see you. <laughs> I saw that Andy Freedom people do, but uh, not a place man. Like what a great day. Yeah, did you get some women in a row? I did. I talked to the general maritime law, and I was distracted with him, and he disappeared on me. I'd be a bad guard, I think. If you put two more in a row, and you get the right side, and every one of them knows. A little dog there. How you doing, puppy? Hey, buddy. What's going on? Hi, <laughs> hi. Good day, yeah. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Nice dog. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, how are you? Would you guys like to be on YouTube at all? I've got a channel called Rebellion Party, one called Bear for News. Hi, how are you? the perfect guy to talk to. Chris Guy, he's the, the leader of Back to Work. Oh, okay. Yeah. Jesus. Maybe he'll give me a, uh, he's the one that's going to get all the businesses to open up. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's the thing that we need, actually, very yes. much. Yeah. Some info. Oh, thanks. Thank you very much. Oh, sorry. I'll take one back. Thank you. Thank you. We have a lawyer. We hired the number one constitutional lawyer in all of Canada to fight it. You rock with Yeah. Really? Yeah, he's on. He's with us. We have a meeting with him Monday. Oh, that's wonderful. And we're trying to bring him here. To... He's trying to beat the banks. And he pretty much won the case, but things didn't change. So that didn't say a lot for our justice system. I, if I if I interpret what happened correctly, and I believe I did, so. Yeah, well, if we don't fight, then we lose, right? Well, that's right. Know, if you so roll over, it's over. Yes. Yeah. And right now, they're just putting fear into everybody to stay home because if they really had so much control over us, they would they would take everything from us. They have to lie to us. That's right. They just stay, stay. That's why it's good that they don't take exactly. everything guns away because at that point they stop uh, Oh, there's lawsuits on that us. too. There's yeah. lawsuits on that too. The good thing about that was they just tell us the truth at that point and tell us they're going to kill us all and that would be it. They wouldn't have to lie anymore, I think. <laughs> Honestly, I think in their mind they're like, you know what, they're going to kill themselves so we don't have to do it. Oh, for us? Like, yeah. Was, yeah. Take everything from us. We know people that committed suicide. Like, it's people on, on medication now. Like, there's other deaths 
that no one's talking about. And you notice that in the news, they're always trying to put people against each other. You notice that? That's exactly what they want. They want to divide us because they know that we're stronger. Yeah, they don't like humanity working together. They like uh, to separate people in every kind of way they can. Yeah. The dicks. Yeah, I don't like them very much no, at all. No. It's not a good like, thing for Imagine them. if we actually had someone in power that was for the people that changed everything. Every, like, all this stuff that it's caused by them, the vaccines, made, like everything, these flus that they created, like the viruses, I mean, all this is created by them. It is, it is. Oh, I just uh, saw something the other day. Uh, there's a thing called the CARES Act, HR 748 in America. It's like their uh, Emergency uh, Economic Measures Act. They passed it in March of this year, but it was it's called the Coronavirus Aid uh, Relief Whatever Package, right? It was uh, first introduced January 24th, 2019. Yeah, I know. A year before it happened, they introduced that I coronavirus what about, is right on it. What about Bill Gates and Dr. Fauci? Warning everybody that a pandemic is going to happen, and they did a drill right before. Oh, you did 201? Yeah, I saw Hello, that. guys. Yeah. Like, it's not a coincidence. Well said. It's great it's that not. you're here to tell people that, too. Yeah. If it's good that they hear from more than just a couple people, then they'll start to think, well, maybe exactly. there's something and to then they, And they see that all these people are coming here not getting sick, not afraid. Don't get out of their house. And that's Absolutely. what we're trying to do is get everybody back to work. Don't be afraid. They keep trying to threaten you with everything they can. No, they can't. It's illegal what they're doing to us. And they know that all of us would fight against them. They don't want to do that. When this turns over, if it, if it does, and it might, there was a report in the media, which is bullcrap, but there's a report that said 50% of people didn't believe uh, these conspiracies or whatever. They, or they believe conspiracy, which means they don't believe that, the government. We're, we're putting that into the lawsuit, the conspiracy. Exactly. So 50% yeah. is a huge number. Yeah. I run for office and I get like less than a percent. But 50% of people on one side of this issue is massive. That is good. We can change our country. Yeah. And, and it'll just get bigger yeah. as time goes on. Yeah. We got threats from people. We got phone calls telling really? us. Really? Yeah, because he he's a home developer. So he knows people up there, politicians. He knows the big boys. And they told him to stop talking about what's happening months before this even went down. Because he started talking about COVID and how it's fake and false. And they told him not to talk and that they were agitating somebody to power. And you know what Chris said? Tell him to tell me himself. Or I'm gonna and I'm gonna tell him the same thing. Go fuck yourself. Absolutely. <laughs> like Yeah, they're lucky that's all we're doing right now. Yeah. That they're they're very lucky. Yeah. I don't think they'd be lucky long. I don't think so. I am proud of Americans though. They're they're standing up. They're doing something. Trump is gonna betray him though. He's called I know. The, he's I called know. the army out to I know the, the, to do the vaccine, yes. right? I know that. Yeah, there's a lot of people that I have, know. Yeah. Nobody can be good in power. Like look at JFK. Like you know what I mean? People Die when they want to get money Trump without interest good. and they killed them for it. You listen to government and, and do otherwise, separate the other around. What was that, sir? Sorry, you listen to government and do otherwise, opposite. Yes, that's how you Thank you very much for your time, Adam. Thanks for your time on the on your speak. I didn't mean to turn away from you. I let you know came up and just thought give everybody a chance. He has all your answers. Trust okay, me. I'll interview the gentleman if he's done talking a little later. So. Thank you for your time. It's very nice of you. Oh. <laughs> Hi, sir. How are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? <laughs> Not bad. My name is Les Bory. I'm with the Rebellion Party and also with Brantford News. Okay. And a couple YouTube channels. Uh, one's a nationalist channel, the other one's for normal people. It's the same thing, but basically, just Real slightly, news. yeah. That is trying to keep Brantford uh, News more local, but hey, no, you know, this is uh, this is uh, affecting us in our town too, right? So, sir, the lady was saying that you've got some kind of legal action coming up against the government. Is this correct? Well, there's two things I got going on. I got the Back to Work initiative. It's a Facebook group as well called hashtag Back to Work. It's about getting all the small business owners. If I, let me make something clear. We don't want anyone to break the law. We're not advocating people to break the law. We're looking at the business owners that have gotten to the point where they're being told by their accountants or they're looking at their books and they're being told if they don't open, they're going to be broke and they're going to go bankrupt. Right. So for these people, the only thing stopping them from opening is the fear of government reprisal. 
So we're trying to make it, give them the best chance to be safely, efficiently open. How are we doing that? I started the Back to Work nonprofit organization. We'll have official status next week. We'll have a website. We're going to start accepting donations. We have a lawyer legal team in place to represent all the businesses that are going to be part of the network, a unified legal representation. We're also going to have a legal defense fund so any business in the network that gets a visit from the government and gets anything more than a warning will have access to these funds to help fight these challenges. Our idea is to try to link hundreds of businesses together to open on a secret day without anybody knowing. Open safely, efficiently, and get as many people going as possible. We know if we open up one or two hundred businesses, the government might get to four or five in a day. If they get a warning, they can shut down. The other ones are still going to be open and more will open. If we get four or five hundred businesses open, this whole charade stops. The people will come out of their homes, businesses will be able to work, we'll gain our independence back, we'll gain our freedoms back, social distancing will be a thing of the past, and we won't have to worry about our children going to these new schools they call prisons. So the Back to Work initiative is the most immediate and important thing I got going on right now. I'm also meeting next Monday, three days from now, with infamous lawyer Rocco Galati, who's already in a vicious lawsuit filed originally by Vaccine Choice against the government for the upcoming mandatory vaccinations. I'm going to be on as a co-plaintiff of the Back to Work nonprofit group, and we're going to be tweaking the submission to include the lockdown, mandatory vaccinations, social distancing laws, preventing businesses from working, and even the 5G rollout that we see going on around us without any public health testing or any public health anything. It's just ridiculous. Well, thank you very much for that. You've done a lot to help Canadians right there. That's a heck of a lot you've done. That undertaking that you've began seems uh, that you've got it very well planned and it it seems like you're doing a lot. Like you're doing like a lot more than average people are. That's that's very good that you're doing that. Thank you very much. I'm thank well, you. I'm a bath myself. I don't speak for many people. And he's an essential worker. Yes, and let me make that clear. I have a, I have a business and I am considered essential, so I've been affected less by this than most people. That doesn't mean I don't sympathize with what people are going through. And this isn't just about the businesses, this is about freedom of choice in general. Are you a tradesman? No, I, I do development design and build for low rise residential. So we were half shut down. The development side was shut down, our building side was not. And now we're allowed to work again. Allowed. That's just ridiculous. Everybody has the right to work. Article of Human Rights, 1948. It was made into 500 languages. Every country abides by it. Article 23 states, you have the right to work, you have the right to choose your employment, you have the right to favorable work conditions, and you have the right not to be forced into employment. If the government ever wishes to violate these rights like they have with an emergency order, it lasts 14 days. 14. And every 14 days, they have to do what's called demonstrate justification for continuing to be able to violate your rights. Up to now, it's been flattened the curve, which means don't overwhelm the hospitals. They don't tell you the data, they don't tell you the numbers. They just keep saying the numbers aren't where we need them to be, so we're going to keep the lockdown going. That's bullshit. What are the actual numbers? We have 500 hospitals in Ontario. Out of those 500 hospitals in Ontario, we have 960 COVID patients as of yesterday. That's less than two people per hospital. The idea that we're going to overwhelm hospitals is a complete lie, completely ridiculous. Now they're using the new lie of increased infection rate. Infection rates don't matter, hospitalization rates matter. And infection rates are only rising because they're testing more people. So, as I said before, this is not about health and safety, this is about a political agenda. And the tests are not supposed to be too accurate either, they give false results. So, and another thing is, what's Ford going to do? Test someone, then they go back in the public. And then how, who's to say if there is something that they don't get it again? What's the, what's the point of it all? All they're doing is putting stuff into it. As far as I know, those tests don't put a dry swab into you. They put some solution up your nose, I believe. They've proven multiple times. Is that times, not the case? They've proven multiple times that A, the tests aren't very accurate, B, some of the tests have actually been proven to have been contaminated with COVID themselves, specifically ones that were bound for the UK. So if you have tests that are inaccurate, tests that can be contaminated, why would you even want to get tested? On top of that, our medical records are supposed to be protected by law. Under this new COVID emergency order, if you get tested and you become positive, they immediately give your info to the police. So the, the World Health Organization and that ends too. up with them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you're giving all this information about us. Now they want you to download a tracing app. They try to tell you it's going to protect your privacy, but at the same time, it's going to keep contact of everywhere you went and everybody you've been in contact with. Absolutely. But somehow it's going to maintain your privacy. No. 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 They t they, everything they're telling us is a lie. 
every single thing. They won't even give you an opening date. That's how little respect they have for Canadians. Their plan... Oh, there isn't one, that's why. No, because their plan is to not <laughs> let people open. Their Absolutely. plan is to destroy as many small businesses as possible. Small business supplies 70% of the jobs to Canada. These are the free thinkers, the independent that's people. That's the communists the right there. that are ready to say no. Yep. So, what do you got to do? You got to destroy these people and get rid of the middle class and turn them from middle class into a class of government dependence. What are they doing for big business? What did they announce yesterday? If you have a company worth over 300 million, they'll give you as much money as you need to stay open. All you got to do is give them a percentage of your company. So what is it called when the government starts communism. to control the means of production That's right. and starts to stamp out the little guys? Well, globalist, communist, Zionists, they're all the same thing, Bolshevik, it's all the same thing. It boils down to the same crap every it time. Every time. Control, consolidation, yeah. and for the masses, death and destruction. Absolutely. And it's that's if they what they're doing right now with the supplemental income, the 2000 a month, that's what they want to do on a universal scale. They want to make it a universal income. They want to take all these people that were part of the private industry, were part of the small business, is, we're adding to the GDP and now put them over onto the public tee. Because now if you're taking these government things, if you depend on the government, does the government serve you They're or does boss. the government rule They're you? They're your master. Thank you. You don't, feed, you, you don't bite the hand that feeds Thank you, you, right? Exactly. And at that point, if you want your government benefit, you are going to download that COVID app. You are going to take that vaccine. No, no. We're not standing for it. We're not doing the new normal. That's why Monday I'm meeting with Rocco Galati. We're going to we're going to be suing the government in the long term. In the short term, I have the back to work initiative, and we're going to be getting everyone back to work, whether What's your they name? like it or not. My name is Chris Sky. Chris, thank you very much. My name is Les Bory. It's a pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Well done. Nice interview. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. You've informed the people very nicely. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you for all your efforts. I have. Oh, They're just tremendous. Getting started. I want to make sure everybody has the freedom of choice and everybody gets the Canada that we all grew up and loved in. I don't want like what I'm seeing. I don't like what they're trying to force on us, and I'm not going to let it happen. And I have a lot of people that are not going to let it happen. Well, thank you very much. My Good pleasure. day. Have a nice day. You too. I'll give you one here for you. What a great day it is today, eh? Yes, sir. See the fellow with the funny mask? Yes, sir. I met him last week, the last time I was here, yep. Oh, okay. I guess you don't need to explain what it's about then. How's it going? Hey, how you doing? That's it. Thank you, Goddard. That's it. How are you, Nick? How's it going, man? Not too bad, brother. Did you get my email? Yeah, yeah, good. yeah. Did you see the video? Yeah, yeah, okay. definitely, definitely. How's it, it turned going? out pretty good, kid. You spoke real well that day. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, we're back here again. You know, still sporting the color. Hey, right? You might have to do C3. something soon. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, we're all out here because I'm, I'm still sick and tired of the way our society has been run. You know, I mean, it's about time that we all get back to our lives. And um, you know, I mean. This whole fucking year has been fucking bullshit, you know? Like, we've been protesting up here, like, every single week. And then even before that, there was all the pipeline protests. There's protests, like, every fucking week. That tells you something. Look at that flag. It's upside down for a reason. Canada is in distress. Doug people. Moore doesn't get it. He thinks yeah. it's disrespectful and then, to have a flag upside down. He doesn't even get it. <laughs> well, then, he's the reason it's like that. <laughs> Well, it's, it's really Trudeau, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's him too, man. And then He's the one that implemented here, these measures on us, not Trudeau. And we sit here and we try and Trudeau tell him how money. it is. <laughs> we, we try and actually yeah. communicate and say, hey, you know, our minister, person we put in, you know, we vote, you know, we put this guy in there, you know, and he he's turns around, voice. He's, he's supposed to be our voice, and he turns around and he calls us fucking names? Like, that's pretty fucking immature, man. My fucking daughter is more mature than that. <laughs> She's fucking high, man. <laughs> Seriously. But, um, yeah, like, this is our voice. This is why we are here. And we are not going to stop. We are not going to stop ever. I'm going to keep coming back every single time there's a problem. All right? I I'm going to bring fucking more people, like, straight up. Well, you know, C3 is here to stay. One crew is here to stay. 3% is here to stay. All right? That's all there is to it. Yeah.
Yeah. Cool. Are you? Yeah. I, oh, I was. I, I, I had to leave because they uh, they thought I was too uh, racist. <laughs> too extreme? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, well, we're going to get you back Thanks very much, Scoot. Yo. <laughs> C3. C3. Stay strong. All right. <clears throat> Canada strong. It's good to see you here. See you back. Right. Hi, how are you? Hey, man. How are you doing? Good. Hi, how are you, sir? Good, good. Oh, you're talking to the gentleman there? Yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. yeah. There is a book. There is a book called uh, Catching Cold. Catching Cold. It, re it relates to 1918 up to practically the present. So how many people have read that book? I bought it here, that book, and I read it. And I see the injustice, injustice of government, including the Canadian, because the Canadians were involved in the research in Wuhan. And now, of course, what, what Justin Trudeau is going to say? It's not going to be as, as stupid as uh, Trump and say Chinese, Chinese, Chinese. No, my friends, <laughs> our fault. Yeah. <laughs> Our fault. And, and I mean in no mind, but Spain, Germany, England, uh, France, they are fault. They are looking for what? Couldn't they spend the money in research for the benefits of the world society instead of building a trillion, over a trillion dollars uh, carriers to yeah. shoot at each other? Yes. Okay? That's what, that's what they should be doing rather than talking and rather than telling me to have to put a mask, which I hate. Well said, sir. Yeah. Thank you. I hate Thank a you. mask or safe distance. Of course, if it's to help you, I would do that, no problem. But it's don't force on me. Yeah, if more people were like this gentleman, we wouldn't have I his troubles. I've been in Canada 53 <laughs> years, <laughs> and I, I live in Canada for 53 years, and I don't see no difference between living in a dictator country, as I did live before, under a dictator, and living in Canada. Now, with those guys over there, those guys over there, they, if they get mad, they will come here and start with the um, matraks, as the French people say. Giving them a this is the first time to count from a gentleman who came from a bad country to our country, and he figures there isn't much difference right now. And I, I agree with the gentleman after reading a few things and growing up in a household that came from a communist country. This is not a police state. Good day, sir. Uh, no, it's not an army state. Do you have a statement to make? Oh, yeah, you like my mask? I love that mask. So it's uh, basically a multi-use uh, mask. I can uh, drink with it, eat with it, smoke with it, you know, yes, and build up my immune system. Yes. Yeah. That's a health mask you're wearing. Yeah, basically I'm uh, building, up, building up my immune system. You're complying with any yeah. any order anywhere. You have a mask on technically and uh, you're yeah. still not making yourself unhealthy by bringing in your own carbon dioxide or dioxide. Yeah, I'm uh, making and building up my immune system. That's so. a good statement. There's a lot of art in that. Well said. <laughs> Thanks very much. It is. it is. Did you see your video last time? Yeah, I did. Good. Good, I'm glad. We'll have another one up there soon, my friend. Good day, see ya. Thank you for coming. <laughs>
you can see these on Rebellion Party or Brantford News Channel on YouTube if you oh, want to see okay. yourself. Rebellion in News? Rebellion Party or Brantford News. Yeah. Brantford News. Okay. One of the two, yeah. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank, Thank you for coming out. Thanks. Hello, hi. But here today, I'm so excited to be up here. Only a handful of people, so it's the Greece. Every time I come here, less people wearing the mask. Well, you know what's Thank funny? you very much. It's good that you're here. Hi, how are you? Hi, good, good. Honk. Okay, that's a good one. <laughs> you're responsible for some of the noise that we've heard. Well, yeah, well, we got to get parking. That's right. It's good to display your signs to traffic. Well, when you, more when you people go around, can do you honk? Street car. Get your vehicle around when you leave, go around a few times. I'll, I'll, I'll tell the guy when we leave to honk, but there won't be anybody here because we're, we're in the protest okay. as well. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Somebody else in the car. It's good to see that people are supportive. Did you know? Like, less people honking okay. now. Is there? I can't I, wait. Were people honking thank before? Thank you. I don't quite understand if you know why you're wearing them, but oh, yeah. they were honking the day that I came to no, work no, during like the snowstorm today. No, no, like between 12 and 2, because I can't wait. I wasn't wait. here then. Oh, okay. I got here just around 2. Just now? Yeah. Just no, no, a little bit. Still okay. Two ish. Yeah. So, so uh, anybody else that's uh, that's Not here that I know? Did you stop the what? Hello, hi. Would you like to make a statement? No? Okay. Oh. Oh, no means no. <laughs> no means no. I see it as on. <laughs> That's my protest sign right there. The only thing I thought on me. Everybody seems to be in a pretty good mood here today. One problem we find with Putin is it's very limited. Every concept that Putin has is very limited. It is. Do you want to make a statement for you too? So, uh, I don't know, maybe. Sure. Uh, what, what are there any questions you want to ask me? or well, What are some of your biggest concerns during this thing? Communism. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good I, uh, that covers it all pretty much. I think, yeah, pretty much. Right? That's, that's my sign. That's a good one. The gun ban is undemocratic, which it is. And uh, fuck communism. Well said. And it's a great communism. And my, uh, my parents, they brought me here from uh, Soviet-occupied Czechoslovakia back in 83. They came when Trudeau Sr. was in office. And ironically now, so they fled a communist country just to end up in another communist country. I tell everything that now when I see so immigrants that's at gas I'm out here. Yeah, I tell them at gas stations and stuff. I go, hey, you guys left a shithole and you came to a shithole. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Nice job. Great troll. Yeah. <laughs> My parents came from communist Hungary. They took a, a little detour through Switzerland, but they uh, ended up here. Yeah, yeah. We, we have to go through uh, Slovenia ourselves. Ah, there you go. Yeah, you don't just leave communism in a straight line, it seems. Nope. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your time, sir. Thank you very much. Hey, right on. All right. Awesome. Lots of noise. It's good. A lot of support for the people. A lot of people are trying to start to figure this out. And they're not impressed with what our government's done to us. This is a pretty uh, unfunny prank that they've played on us. A very dangerous one. In a lot of different ways. For people's uh, mental health going down the drain, to possible famines that may break out across the world, including it here in Canada, if we keep things shut down. Also, there is the very real possibility that people will not stand for this any longer and will remove the leaders any way that it, you know that they have to. And I don't think they have too many limits, these people, okay? They're real nice people, but they've got families and they'll think of them first before some corrupt government who tries to kill them. With vaccines, with testing, perhaps. It's a great crowd. Just a, a good mix of people here. Basically, the face of humanity showed up in Toronto here, and everybody's just having a good time. It's good to see. Hi, sir. Would you like to have your sign on YouTube? 
I would love to have my sign on YouTube because I had entirely a boat, a, enough of both of these misfits. And neither one of them deserves to be in government. They're following, it seems like, a one-world government decision or something. None of their decisions make any sense unless they're sheep, just following someone's directions. Nothing they're doing is benefiting the country. It's time to open up everything now. We do not want to wait for a vaccine. And all the things I've seen on TV, too, I've never heard one politician or one doctor saying, you know, you should maybe just work on your immune system. Eat some vitamins, uh, get exercise, get a little sunshine, eat healthy, and you'd probably be better off. Not one. All it is is vaccines or drugs. Why is that? Don't you find that strange? Well, they're always trying to put something in our bodies, aren't they? They, they are. And you kind of have to wonder why you have your choice. You can trust your government or you can choose to think for yourself. I choose to think for myself. I, well said. I've lost my trust in the government as well. I've run against them, and I've been lied about by the media that supports the government, all right? So I'm not a fan of either level of, uh, you know, weasel, all right, as we'll call them. Well, that's the problem, is most of the people watch the mainstream media, and the mainstream media is bought, and they are paid for. And it's, it's I don't know how to get us out of this conundrum, but uh, the press is all powerful. They are. Uh, well, you have to ask yourself, if peaceful means won't do it, what will do it? <laughs> You know what I mean? If they took away our democratic rights because uh, elections aren't really fair, they won't let all the candidates speak. I've been in six federals and a provincial, and I've noticed that there's a pattern, and very rarely will you get to appear on Rogers anymore to tell people what your views are. And if your views uh, differ from what the uh, New World Order views are, they call you a racist or some kind of bigot or something like that. They say your views are un... Uh, you know, they're not in line with what they want so they basically they make you sound like a really bad guy it happened to me but i kept fighting i don't care i mean it, it does bother me to have people think that i'm something i'm not but you know that's that goes to the territory when you're in this blind ball political game right i'm trying to clean it up but if you go in the sewer to clean it up you're gonna get crap on you and that's all there is to it well it's not impossible uh trump has proved that all the mainstream media in the u.s was against him nobody was for him and they he had to fight the democrats he had to fight the mainstream media and most republicans at first didn't even want him till he showed he could do it so it is possible and i know it's anti-canadian but trump is a great model to follow well it's not really anti-canadian it's almost well if you've seen what trump did it's almost anti-american to like trump because it's like basically i i know what you're saying yeah i, I chose i thought trump would be about 90 days better than clinton because clinton would have probably caused a lot of crap right away where trump had the his administration in order for the first three months or so yeah and then it didn't take him long to bomb people after that and then now trump called out the army to enforce the vaccine on the force to you know to to distribute the vaccine he says militaries don't need to distribute vaccines you know what i mean it's not like the special forces going going into some jungle village and, you know, helping people out, you know, fixing a couple teeth and stuff, whatever else they do, right? And then uh, Trump also brought in a bunch of laws that said they couldn't criticize Israel or they get in big trouble, right? So I don't see that as being a real good thing. That's the real American thing and not be able to speak your mind. Americans are known for their uh, their love of the right to speak their minds. And Trump right now uh, took that away from them and he's threatening their very lives with, uh, with the military, giving out vaccines. And also Trump didn't get rid of the Federal Reserve and start printing interest rate currency like Kennedy would have. Do you know what I mean? Um, Give first, Trump time. He will get rid of the Federal Reserve and there will be no mandatory vaccine in the U.S. from Trump, I promise. <laughs> Hey, happen. if you're the president, I believe you, but Trump, I have a little faith in, but I mean, your okay, ideas are good ones. This. Yes, sir. If you've got your choice that you can trust Trudeau I believe or I Trump. They were actually if they're both going to screw you over, there's no choice in that really, okay? It's, uh, but basic, if you had to make a choice, which one It's would basically, you? do you want to kill yourself with the blue gun or the red gun? You know what I mean? That's what it comes down to, you know what I mean? So, we're, we're, I think we're better off looking outside of that, uh, that controlled opposition political framework that they set up for us, right? Sure. Where, you know what I mean? And that's how guys like me run for office. I ran in Brant for Brant. I got left for dead, but I had a good platform. Basically, I was said I said that we should back our currency with labor and work our way out of these economic troubles, right? Print a dollar for every dollar is worked, you know, civil service wise. Start like a, a national labor program, right? So people can work and earn their way out of this shit, not just, uh, you know, sit around and take a, a handout, right? Because I ran myself in the last federal election. Oh, where? Uh, Spadina, Fort York. I nice. One point six. What's your name? My name is Robert Stewart. Robert what? Robert Stewart. Stewart, okay. Yeah. What was your platform? Uh, I was with the PPC. People's oh, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. So you're with the new Communist Party. <laughs> uh, we've Bernier, been the, the gold standard Bernier. Yeah. yeah, the gold standard is totally communist. Basically, uh, the last word on the gold is how does it get here? Oh, labor, right? So labor is always your back, your go-to when it comes to backing your currency, or at least one very good one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But but your gold is just uh, it changes value as well, so it's not a standard because it, standards don't change value, right? So that's a couple of the reasons for that. We should go back to the gold standard. No, I just finished saying that it's uh, basically what happens then is that only countries with gold can ever have uh, wealth. So that's not a good thing to do. When you uh, back your currency with labor, you have an unlimited supply of money at your disposal to do whatever you want to do as long as you create or work it into existence you know what i mean yeah. earn it into existence and that's how the germans did it in the 30s while everybody else was starving they uh, they didn't sell lampshades and soap bars those guys what they did was they earned their way out of debt and that's how they did it you know what i'm saying and that's what we should do in canada as well like like harper he bailed the banks out back in the day he, he raised our national debt by 235 billion dollars and bernie said nothing when harper allowed the Chinese to buy up Alberta oil companies in Saskatchewan, Bernier said nothing against that. You know what I'm saying? So what so, political party do you think should be a power then? Well, which one? None of the ones we have right yeah. now. I think we should start a firearms labor party or something like that and really, uh, you know, because most people work, that's how you build a country and uh, yeah. defend your rights. You could defend your great social programs with American style gun laws. How's that? Try taking our health care away then, you dicks. You know what I mean? Good luck to you. I think Fucking whole, see ya. Uh, the whole Canadian government has to change. The, uh, I agree with you. The uh, American model of government where they have the Congress and the Senate and the President and the Supreme Court at different levels. Actually, despite all their failings, is the best form of government. And right yeah, now, well that's the people in Western Canada are livid, and they're saying separation because they don't have any power. I mean, because yeah. the Masons are pushing that movement instead of real people. You know what I mean? When you see crap like that, it's usually some weasels behind it. You know what I mean? The same guys that run the Chamber of Commerce that won't let me speak. All right, they seem to co-op movements. It's the same with the Yellow Vest movement. I, I know a couple of local guys, and they seem to be Freemasons that were running this shit. You know what I'm saying? So I agree with some of their points but overall i don't want those guys because those guys were the same kind of guys that helped the uh the jewish communists take over russia and become their government and kill about a few million people right <laughs> so i don't trust them i'm completely distrusting you talk about the Waxed people pardon me Are you talk about the Waxed people or like the separatists in, in alberta yeah. I, I, I have no proof okay yeah but i sure get a gut feeling a hunch as it is that this is the case there yeah yeah, you sh separating, that's treason. It's just as bad as Quebec separatists, right? What the uh, hell's with that? If they pull their heads out of their ass and quit voting conservative, then they can start printing money with, you know, for labor, right? And then they can have jobs, right? And why in the hell do they vote for guys that throw our soldiers on the street like well, conservatives I think most do? most people in Alberta are of the opinion that they're not leaving Canada. Canada has left them. Okay, good, thank you. No, Canada, Canada hasn't the left them. they got to fight for a better government, I think. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not separate like a bunch of goofs. You're like a bunch of fucking wimps. They're not going to go anywhere. What are they going to do? They're going to build a pipeline to China. Then who is their boss going to be? You know what I mean? They're going to connect Harper's sale to China with China's property that they purchased yeah. under Harper, and they're going to connect the straw well, to the milkshake you know, and suck out the dry. What's going to happen is a lot of people think uh, Trudeau is going to call an election in October. And if he happens to win a majority, I guarantee you Alberta and Saskatchewan will have referendums for separation, and they will separate, and most likely BC will follow them. And that is a viable country, and I guarantee you that will happen. And I moved here from Saskatoon four years ago. I'm telling you, they're tired of getting their butts kicked around all the time. Well, they're too stupid to vote right. They vote conservative and liberal, and they expect to have a good country, the dummies. they got to start voting for real Canadians instead of those straight like commies. Like who? Well, maybe people, instead of running to separate, maybe they should run for office and be a nationalist. How's that sound? A well, Canadian nationalist. Not, not the Nationalist Party. Those are Alberta moderate. has uh, a, a federalist in, as a premier right now, Jason Kenney. Right. And he's doing nothing for the most part. He's doing what? But pretty much nothing. So well, basically, uh, didn't they have a Bill 10 come in? Some kind of crazy uh, law regarding this disease that really gives them a lot of power. Which they killed it. It got killed as it should. That gave them too much power, and people spoke up, and that died a very quickly. But they tried it, okay? You oh, see yeah. that? The weasels tried it, okay? I don't like these conservatives well, that's, and uh, Kenny, liberals. Kenny, the same Kenny thing. Kenny's not from Alberta, and he, his goal long-term is to become Prime Minister. He, he does not want uh, Alberta to be super strong and separate. 
he, he's, he wants to be Prime Minister. Well, so you're Canada. saying that Albertans voted poorly then, in other words. They, to uh, vote for a guy like choice. that, I think there's no well, other thing In the last say. election, who could they have voted for that would have helped them? Pardon me? In the last election, federal election, who could Albertans have voted for? Well, or in the provincial election, who could they have voted for that helped them? Surely there must have been some independent candidates that could have voted for it. There will be next time. There you go. Yeah. Anyways, I gotta go. No, no, it's good to talk to you and get your perspective on this. And I thank you for your time. And if you want to see your interview, okay. it'll be on Brantford News or the Rebellion Party channel. Okay, what's your name? Leslie Borey. Leslie Borey? Uh, your last name's Stewart, is it first? S-T-E-W-A-R-T. Okay, thank you very much. And Scarborough... Spadina, Fort York. Spadina, Fort York, sorry, I think it's Scarborough. Yeah, it's an extremely far left wing riding. <laughs> oh, I know, I ran, I ran in Toronto for latency and that's, it was, uh, it wasn't the worst, but it was, uh, yeah, I knew I wasn't going to win. You could have put a, a piece of shit on a stick and painted it orange and they would have elected it, right? <laughs> so, yeah, so I had no chance with people like that. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you keep running. I mean, it's good I to will. have different views out there, you know what I mean? And uh, just maybe think of the money system. Just uh, look at how Germany fixed their country and see what happens. And forget that racist shit. They weren't what they said. I don't believe it anyhow. So, yeah. They're just uh, an industrious nation that knew how to run an economy. Unlike our guys. Yeah, they're very well organized. Yes. Have a great day. You too, sir. Thank you very much. Good day. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Hey, sir, how you doing? Great, how are you doing? Not bad. My name is Lusty Bory. I'm working for Brantford News and the Rebellion Party channel. Beautiful. Yeah, one's a Nationals channel, the other one's uh, a channel for normal people, which is pretty much the same thing. Right. I'd like to tell the way And on the other side, we've got this. That's it. Yeah, so, so, so this thing. It's all, yeah. Oh, yeah, this thing's in my ass. And it's all about murder and control because they want to depopulate. Right? Yes, they do. That's, that's my understanding and my yeah. feeling as well. No, yes, no, sir. but it is. Bill Gates talks openly. Oh, about you don't have to convince me. I, I, yeah, I, I yeah. sincerely believe you. Uh, I've, been, I've been up every every day till 5 a.m. in the morning since this lockdown started, gaining as much info as I can about what's really going on. Sure, it's good that you're doing that. And I knew right from the very first day when I started uh, checking out statistics, annual flu statistics you know, across Canada or the US or the whole world. And I said, the numbers aren't matching. And we only had 30 some deaths at the time, potentially in Canada, and you shut the country down. And I look at even Lebanon, Lebanon in the Middle East right now, they only have something like 30 and they've been down even longer than us. So there's a crock of crap going on here. Well, look at all the people that died in the old folks homes, either they're killing them oh, no. or so, or, or isolation actually kills you. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's stupid what's going on there. I. I I don't know. I, I don't want to get start throwing crap around because I want to be credible. But I tell you, I'm, I'm deeply suspicious as to what happened to those old folks. Well, if I can, I'm going to say my piece is that I call it the perfect murder. Seriously, right from the whole thing. And right now, my mother's in prison because she's in one of those homes. I can't even go visit my mom. Yeah, my father-in-law is you as know? well. Yep. Yeah. And I hope he stays safe. Yeah. Because in America, what they're doing is hooking people up to those ventilators and blowing their lungs up, okay? Yes, they are, yeah. And so that it makes you wonder why they want to make so many of those killing machines, if that's what it does. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, they are. And be, because of the, the money they're taking for Medicare, uh, 13,000 13, for, for registering COVID, another 39 on the ventilator. It's a cash grab. Oh, you saw that too, yeah. Oh, yeah, yes, I'm on top I, of all of it. I, yeah. I told someone that at the liquor store one day. The guy claimed he knew eight people that died. I said, really, what do they die of? You know what I mean, he knew yeah. more people that died than died in the whole province of Manitoba, this one guy. Yeah. You know I mean, I think they lost, what, two people there or something like that, or six or some shit. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's like, it's stupid. I mean, people die all the time. I mean, when I was 20 years old, I got a pneumonia that you wouldn't believe. Uh -huh. It actually knocked me down. You know what I mean? I was, I was a healthy, strong guy, yeah. and I couldn't believe what it could do to a person. You know what I mean? So yeah. I can understand that you don't want to have some kind of a real bad you know, illness in your lungs because it could really mess you up or weaken you badly. Uh -huh. But this, this thing here doesn't seem to be doing that to the people that they say it is. Do you know what I mean? Like, the numbers are way down. Well, here, here's something I looked up. Okay, I don't know if our numbers are around 3,500, what they are in Ontario right now, because I quit watching TV a month ago. I had enough. Sure, good for you. Okay, so say if it's around 4,000. Every year in Ontario, there's a, an average of between 7,000 and 7,500 die a year from the flu every year in Ontario. We're going to get this on video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
That's it. The liveliness is contagious. Yeah. More than COVID. Yeah. <laughs> So, so the actual flu statistics even now are way down from what they normally are. Between 7,000 7, and a year in Ontario pass away from the supposed flu, pass away from the flu. Right. And uh, the numbers are what, 4,000, whatever, 3,500, 3,800? I is stopped that, looking at their bullshit a long it, time ago. It's, it's just a stupid number. I don't even know what the hell it, it's, it's a joke. I have no yeah. idea what it is anymore because the, they're idiots. They're total, total assholes. They're the total liars, I think. To no, they're total liars. And um, I pray every day, please let me cross Doug Ford's path so I can have one more conversation with him. <laughs> And get him to stand up and, and stop lying to the people. No, he won't do that. No, he won't. No, these no. guys lied right to the end. The lies, yeah. you know, they're getting executed, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they'll lie to the, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They'll lie to their last twitch. Oh, it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. And Bill Gates needs to be removed from the planet, as well as all of these other hey, assholes. If they want to, re want to reduce the world's population, let me suggest uh, 1% to it for sure. You know what I mean? <laughs> thank you for your interview, sir. Oh, thank, thank you, you so time. much. You're I very appreciate welcome. it. <laughs> How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, should I be on the internet? Pardon? Should I be on YouTube? I got a channel, Rebellion Party in Brantford News. Are you Justin? I saw you in Hamilton. I am, yeah, Justin. I am Justin. You're yes. the first guy I saw speak at, uh, at Yellow Vest on the internet. You did very well. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, what was that? The speech I recently did here? I saw that too. I saw you at Yellow Vest, and I don't follow the movement because I thought it was co-opted by a bunch of Masons, right? So that's my indication of it all. But I tell you what, man, you spoke very well there. When I, you were the first guy I saw speak in Hamilton, and, Thank you. Uh, and you said you said all the very nice things. Like, Thank the, you. The things that I agreed with. Yeah. Right? I saw you took a lot of crap from the media too. Oh, I have been. I've been dragged through the mud. I got it's it too yeah. during the election. They tried to make me look like some kind of racist or some bullshit, yeah, right? Yeah. Well, I, you know, well I they call me a white supremacist, but I got a Jamaican girlfriend at home, so it, like, it doesn't add up. You know what I mean? It's it's bullshit. Well, the stories don't normally add up, do they, Justin? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's real nice to see you, and I'm glad you're here. And just uh, you know, keep your head up. You're doing the right thing, in my my opinion, Justin. Thank you. Thank you very you're much. Very I appreciate it. Yeah. You have a good day, man. You too. See ya. Thank you. Take it easy. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> the thing really kicks out the sound. to do that. Oh, sorry about that. I was going to ask you. I thought you were approaching me for an interview. No. Um, <laughs> Pardon me. Who are you? My name is Leslie Borey. Okay. I'm with Rebellion Party and uh, Brands and News Channels. I see. Okay. You're not there, right? No. I guess I just have to speak. I believe there were. I got here late myself, so I missed a bunch of stuff as well. Well, if you want to make a speech, I can put it on the ground. You can talk into the mic if you want to be on video, if you want to do that. <laughs> well, they're coming for me anyway, so I don't want to drag it down, too. I would think. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Hello. <laughs> Yeah. You got some good signs there. They're really good. Hi, how are oh, you? Hey, great. Thanks, man. 
one, you hit both my sons. I got them both. It's good that you're here, helping the public learn something there, I believe. I agree with your signs, with your message. Uh, thanks. You're very welcome. My name is Les Borey. I'm with Rebellion Party, also a brand for News Channel. Oh, great. Yeah, so if you want to look on YouTube, you can see yourself. Hi. Yeah, I have the dog. Do you want to make a statement at all? Oh, um, your sign says it all, does it? Yeah, my sign you says it all. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's really good. It's glad that you took the effort to do that. Yeah, it says a lot. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. Good day. I'll get your sign here. Ah, there we go. I said that one too. Well done. Hi, how are you? There we go. This is a great sign. Practice media distancing. They are lying to you. For sure they are. Yeah. I hate that stupid couple of the thing. So dumb. <laughs> yeah, good sentiment. Thank you very much. It's so true. There's little pockets of people out here just kind of having their own fun there, talking to each other. What a great day. Hello. Would you like to make a statement, sir? I'm okay there, bud. No problem. You got her. Well, Paul, what do you think? I think this was a tremendous success. There was good last Saturday with about 400 people. I would say we're at least double. And when the group, most of the group marched over to uh, Spadina, it uh, took up uh, uh, almost the whole space, all those maybe five, six city blocks. That was pretty impressive. That's quite good. Um, and there's such a variety of uh, uh, people here, that uh, many of them very much awake, worried about uh, free speech, we worried about the loss of gun rights are worried about having, being forced to stick a, a needle in their arm um, and just worried about government bossing them around. Yeah, well said, Paul. I believe the same thing here. That's why I've been interviewing people, and that's what I concluded as well. And that's that's what we expected to find here. That's what we found. It's good to see. I think there's a growing opposition uh, right across Canada to, to what's happening there. They're, they're, this is, I think, the fourth pro week in a row of protests in Toronto. They're up to the seventh week tomorrow in Vancouver, the third week in, in Kelowna, and I know many other places are, are, have protests. And, and they're all uh, you know, they're all locally organized. It is, it is to uh, one group and there's such a friendly atmosphere here people uh, uh, exchange views uh, people do what we're not supposed to do in this society and that's to freely discuss things without wanting to get somebody fired or punched out or uh, yeah I just had a disagreement with some political guy and it was just a wonderful thing we had a great conversation that's how we learn right yeah we're not always right sometimes people point out the things that we're wrong about and we just have to go back and uh, consider what we've been thinking uh, so speaking about not, not always being right, uh, the politicians are, are scared uh, out of their uh, out of their wits, and, and so they're listening to what are called experts. Uh, well, you know, I'm not against experts, but uh, the expert here in Canada, the, uh, Dr. Theresa Tam, has made mistake after mistake after mistake. Uh, initially, she, she uh, parroting the, the 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 red Chinese line from the WHO, said that, that this was not a communicable disease. You know, maybe just came out of the air and bit you. Uh, okay, that. Mistake number one. Uh, th then uh, uh, she w was absolutely against any travel ban from China, or even re recognizing that they, they call it stigmatizing, that is recognizing well that some people have it. Well, it wasn't Greenlanders who had it. Uh, so we lost we lost a tremendous amount of time, and, th and we got a lot of it in that way through the airport. Mistake number two. Mistake number three. Ma uh, following the WHO, she said, well, masks uh, didn't do that much good, and they weren't 100%. Well, it's true. They're, they're not 100%. Uh, they're, they're, they're not supposed to be. Uh, well, now she's had to reverse herself on that. Uh, I'm not sure I, I know what she did get right in all of this. Why are, why are we letting this woman we, we whisper sweet nothings into the trust fund kid's ear and, and direct our policy? Uh, I, don't, I don't think uh, we should. I, I'd like to see her fired. Oh, I'd like to see that. Yeah, I'd like to see that for starters, Paul. I'm deeply suspicious. 
Paul knows me, and uh, he knows I'm a suspicious kind of guy. <laughs> I don't trust too many people, right? So. Well, and you know, with, uh, I go on the track record. Hey, if she called it all right, wonderful. Absolutely. Uh, 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 but she didn't. It's, no. it's not just a mistake. Uh, on, uh, on almost every key thing, she's made mistakes. And so we have this lockdown, which has cost all sorts of jobs, businesses that will not come back. Uh, domestic strife, people, uh, and then those people who take this seriously, who I know of people who've been locked up for 10 weeks, 10 weeks, uh, in the, you know, they, they even order their food in. I mean, they, they might as well be in prison. Well, pretty much is it. It's, it's a, like a luxury prison, pretty much is what it is, club fed. And, and they're, uh, and they're self-imprisoning. They are. Scared to death, and I'm not talking about old people, I'm talking about I know some people in their 20s that are they're just scared, absolutely witless. Well, the tide's turning, I think, Paul. The, the last poll I heard, now polls can be bullcrap, but 50% of the Canadians don't believe this. And we know from politics that uh, 50% is a massive number. Basically, it's it's what you need for change, and almost certain change when you get 50% of people on your side. Yeah, I think that's one of the things that the, the freedom movement is, try, is trying to do. Encourage people to... Uh, to be critical, encourage people to think, and I'd say encourage people to reject what they've been told, or want much of what they've been told. And and you're right, when a significant percentage of the population no longer believes the, the regime is doomed, that's what happened under communism. I mean, they weren't overthrown by a, a violent revolution in the streets. Just enough people ceased to believe, and they weren't prepared to put their life on the line to, uh, to, to enforce the regime. I honestly think we might be getting into the free core super special on this one, Paul. This might happen, man. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's unfortunate that we couldn't have decided otherwise, but hey, if all the Canadians are focusing their junk on the, the right guys, and then that those are the only guys that have a, like a bad consequence from all this, then I'm all for it, let me tell you. Well, we could be in for some interesting times, <laughs> and we'll all be down here again next Saturday. <laughs> That's it, man. All right, Paul, thank you very much, sir. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> I think we should probably move so, on. Uh, oh, bad news from James Sears. The guy he was supposed to is supposed to visit him at one or two. Left Niagara very, very late and will not be there till five, so he won't be free this weekend. Okay, so we're just heading home then? Yeah. All right, Polly. So if I can, if we can call my, uh, Oh, sorry about that. Sorry, Rachel and uh, Thomas. Let's take a last little look around here. There's the ensign. Paul likes to bring the ensign with him wherever he goes. It's good to see. One of Canada's two official flags, still. How are you today? Good. Did, did you see your video last time from the, the snowy day? Which yeah, one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, good for you. I saw on Rebellion Party, you saw it? Oh, you saw it? I, I made it. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, sweet, sweet. I was dressed differently. It was a little bit uh, cold. Hi, how are you, sir? Not how bad. you doing? Yeah. Good. Would you like to make a comment at all? Not today. Okay, thank you for... It was hot, the march was a great idea. Yeah. I was distracted, of all things. What a reporter I am. I turned around and a few hundred people were gone before I even noticed. Right, what a smart oh, guy I am. Yeah. Right? Just, yeah. <laughs> I got them on their way back, so it was good. At the finish line. Um, you know, it's, it's when we're, you know, it's when we're divided that we... And the other side? Ah. Absolutely. That's a great sign. Thank you. Is this your first time here? That was my fifth week. Oh, did you start this? <laughs> no, I didn't. You know, I was going to start, if I didn't know that there was one, I was going to start a meditation sit-in, you know, where we're in concurrent circles around the legislative building, and we would be like the, Jew the Jewish and cast spells of wisdom and love to our politicians because they really love. need to wake up. <laughs> oh. You have to vibrate at the highest vibration, no hate. Oh, really? You gotta vibrate in order to make change. Do you know Dr. I'll work on it. Dr. Um, Dr. Masatsu Emoto, Japanese researcher on water, look up the, the um, story of water crystals. Okay. When 
when you take pictures of water crystals when they're frozen, after words or even prayers of love, it changes. Really? And anything with hate, it changes. Well, it's yeah. all energy, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I believe in that. Like like Tesla said, a lot of things are vibration, uh, frequency, yes. uh, stuff like that, right? Yeah, yeah. so you got to vibrate with sure. love in order to make a change. Nobody likes to you know, be insulted with hate, right? Yeah. So let's try that. Yeah. Well, I, okay, well, I'll try a little bit, maybe. <laughs> oh, no. I, mean, I don't like our politics. I run against these guys at election time, so I'm at war with them. No, no, no. You can be at war, like, but if you continue to be at the standstill, like, give me your hand. If I push and you push, right. do we go anywhere? No. 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 But if I'm, if I'm soft, you come back, you come to me, and eventually you want to give me some space, right? Right. You have to be gentle. I see. <laughs> All right. I'm not, I don't know everything. I'm not done learning, so I'll try your way, baby. We'll see. <laughs> see you. What have you signed? Oh, sure. Charter of Health Freedom. We have to write it into the law to give us freedom of choice for health, whether it's uh, nutri nutri uh, vitamins or herbs or vaccines. It's our own choice. Sure. Right? I'll sign that. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Well said. My choice, right? They've been trying to make herbs illegal forever, it seems. Yeah, I used to garden myself. They were trying to make what? Herbs. Illegal homeopathy and a Like they do know what they what, what they say it's. was a teenager, like 30 something years ago. No, they call it medicine, I think, or something to that effect. Or if you even claim, if you claim that vitamin C prevents scurvy, basically it's it's supposed to be illegal, or they're trying to make it that way. Yeah, I, I heard. Studies to prove it. The joke is they're using. Um, Using um, intravenous vitamin C to treat the uh, COVID-19 patients in Wuhan as well. There's multiple studies on it being conducted as yes. we speak. And do we really need more studies? That's how the WHO cancels everything because they find something wrong. And why do we even need their approval? You know, it's, it's, if, if, it, if their studies that they fund are very biased. Yes. You know, you know malaria. Gonna... There's a cure for malaria. Artemisia. Mugwort. It's been used in Africa and um, in Asia for a long time. Yeah. The Chinese pills. Yeah. People with malaria completely recovered. Give it to her. Thank you. Oh, no, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, he's done. <laughs> Thank You're you done. very much. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, look up uh, the malaria the documentary. People with malaria have recovered completely. But WHO does not want to prove anything that's not drug related that they can patent. So then they say, no, we're not going to do any studies. or uh, They can't make money off of it. So. Why do we need the WHO's approval? Like, this but who designated them to dictate what the yeah. world needs? Like, well, why well, do they get to decide what goes in my body? Well, the bankers in this world, right? Uh, yeah, that's the, the ones that print money out of thin air. Yeah, it's not a bad thing to do if you back it with something like labor or something like that, yeah. or, or, or you know, what I mean, like something to that effect. That's how the Germans did it. But you can't talk because the people get all crazy because of the the war stories and the yeah, exactly. they throw you in jail for disagreeing with certain people. It's crazy exactly. in Canada. It should be the case. But yeah. So they, I'm pretty convinced that they run everything because they're the ones where money comes from, right? So they can bribe people, they can buy armies, they can buy people to kill people. Exactly. And throughout history, I believe, they've been imposing their will with wars to try and keep this banking system going. Exactly. Because if you charge interest on, on money that's been printed, and that's that interest has never been created anywhere. Exactly. So, so if you two are the only people in the world, I'm a banker, I print you each a, a check for $10. I can't ask for twenty dollars back from each one of you because only twenty dollars exists in the world, not forty. Yeah. And then at the end of the day, they want all your money plus what you used to buy with it. That's what happens. Yeah, and that's the trap anyway. of it. Absolutely. Well, it's good that you guys are here. Yeah, that's why. You're part we're of the here, protest, right? or just on the bench. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Thank you. Yeah, nice to meet you. If you want to see the video, oh, if you want to see the video, it's Rebellion Party or Brantford News on YouTube. Brantford? Brantford News or Brantford. Rebellion Party, one of the two. Okay. Yeah. Good day to you. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. See you. So you, you present your... <laughs> all that stuff? Oh, sorry. Oh, leave them right now for the next 10 minutes. They think they are. They think they are. They think they are. All right, everyone, I think I'm going to call it a day on that. 
Have a good day, folks. Les Borey for Rebellion Party and Brantford News. All right, see you guys.